In this A-level IB biology video, we're going to be looking at mitosis, which remember is a type of cell division. It's used in the growth and repair of cells. And as a consequence, remember that daughter cells are genetically identical to the parent cell and each other. Just a quick note on chromosomes. Remember that you find these within the nucleus. So 23 pairs are found in normal body cells. And this is a diploid number, remember. The exception is gametes, such as sperm and egg, which only contain a haploid number, so one set of chromosomes. Focusing in on the structure of the chromosome, they are made up of two sister chromatids, which are joined at a structure in the middle known as the centromere. We're now going to go through the various phases of mitosis in a great amount of detail. Remember to use the mnemonic PMAT to help you remember that. P stands for prophase. M stands for metaphase. A stands for anaphase. And T stands for telophase. And those are the four stages of mitosis. So, starting with number one, early prophase. So the first thing to notice is that the spindle microtubules start to grow. And these will support the chromosomes when they migrate later on in mitosis. What's happening inside the nucleus? Well, here the chromosomes are shortening and becoming fatter. This is known as condensation, and this occurs by a complex process of coiling, known as supercoiling. Next up, late prophase. So late prophase, the first thing to be aware of is that each chromosome consists of two identical chromatids which have been formed by DNA replication, and this occurred during the interphase part of the cell cycle. Now remember these two identical chromatids are held together at the centromere. And in order for this to happen, DNA replication took place during interphase. Now let's have a look at what's happening at the spindle microtubules. Look, they've elongated, they're now extending from each pole and they're reaching the centre of the cell known as the equator. Moving on to metaphase, hopefully you can see now that the nuclear membrane no longer exists and that the chromosomes are attached via their centromere to the microtubules at the equator of the cell. And you can see that happening in the middle of this diagram. So we'll start by saying that the nuclear membrane has broken down. The chromosomes move to the equator of the cell to the centre of the cell. And lastly, the spindle microtubules from both poles, so that's either end of the cell, are attached to each centromere, so the centre of the chromosome. In anaphase, the centromeres have divided, and now you can see the gradual migration occurring to the chromosomes as they move towards opposite poles of the cell. And they're moved by those spindle microtubules shortening. In early telophase, the chromosomes reach the opposite poles and the nuclear membrane starts to form around them. Because the spindle microtubules are no longer needed, they begin to break down.
And then finally, in late telophase, the chromosomes uncoil, so they're no longer supercoiled, they're no longer condensed. And we know that those two cells need to separate, so they'll separate here. And that process whereby the two cell membranes divide is known as cytokinesis. Guys, I really hope you found that helpful. I'll be back soon with another video. Don't forget to subscribe in the meantime.